For the demonstration today, we shall be having two tables and one form. The two tables shall be the transportation data and the type of transport table. In transportation data, we shall have the following records. Vehicle, the load in turns for that particular vehicle, the number of loaders for that vehicle, the distance that vehicle will be traveling and also the transportation cost. On the type of transport, the following records shall be saved. The ID of that particular vehicle, the vehicle itself, the tons that is that vehicle is able to carry. And this is the cost per trip for that particular vehicle and the number of loaders assigned to that particular vehicle. So here I could have added a few records like the cost depending on the distance. But just for demonstration purpose, I have only this record. So this table will contain only this. And then the other table will contain the data which will be filled in by the form that we are going to create. And to do that, I'm going to close this table because I don't need it as for now. While well, this is opened, I can go to create form wizard. Here, I'm going to add all these records except the vehicle. You're going to see why in just a moment. So just add all of them, but remove the vehicle. Click next, and you can rename this to whatever you want. So once your form is ready, and this is the data from before, this is the data that is filled up here already, but you're going to deal with that later. So once your table, once your form is as loaded just like this you can go ahead and change the, the view and uh, we shall be in the design view the first thing that you are going to add to the form is just a few buttons so that you can be able to navigate so i'm going to add a save button here just go to record and uh, save record click on finish and add another one so that you can be able to add a new record under record operations click on new and uh, just click finish now you have the two buttons what you're going to require next is the drop down list that is going to select the type of vehicle that that particular customer wants so in this case i'm going to require a combo box so that i can be able to select from a drop down list so just click on combo box right here and then click let me just squeeze it up here click there and here we are going to see a wizard screen so select on the first option and then click on next here select the table from where you want the data to be fetched from so select the type of transport and click next now here we are going to add all the all the data except the ID which is not going to be very essential because now from the drop down you need to see only the important information you don't require to see the ID so I'm going to exclude that one from the field and then I'm going to click next now before we proceed I want you to be aware that naming columns in access it is zero indexed that means from the first the first column that shall be column zero and then moving forward one two and three so make sure you are aware of this this is column zero column one column two and column three you are going to use this in the vba code that i'm going to show you in just a moment so from here i'm going to click next and then select the first record there and click next again and then because you want to remember this value just store the value in vehicle because that is the that is what is being selected click finish and now you will have your combo box ready to display all the values in that table if you go to form view you're going to see that there's a drop down here and you can pick whatever item that you want trailer truck whatever now what I want us to do, let me just create a space here so that all these things are 
aligned properly. I just select everything, go to arrange and make them stacked. Now I will not require this item to be here, so I'm just going to move it all the way to the bottom. This one too, then I can remove this one up. Now because I want this value to be together with the vehicle, and then here I'm going to rename this to type of vehicle. Now once that is done, remember the vehicle you're going to select from the drop down. The distance, the person who is requesting for a vehicle is going to enter the distance where he wants maybe the load to be transported to. But the rest, the load in terms, the number of load and the transportation cost will be filled automatically depending on the type of vehicle that you are going to select. So to achieve this, we are going to this combo that we created earlier. Under other, you are going to see the name. So I want you to rename that to a name that you can be able to recall later. In this case, I'm going to write it just vehicle ID. Once you have that, you are required to know if you can be able to recall the name of the other fields. In this case, they are very distinguishable, so you don't need to worry about them. Now, if you click a new, we want to add a new record. You'll see all the others are default to zero. The type of vehicle, suppose I select the pickup right now, nothing happens and that is not what we want. So to achieve the things that you're looking for here, we are going to go to under vehicle. Under event procedure, just find the on change event. You can select the others here which might be very very close to relative but I just like on change so that Every time an item is changed or a different vehicle is, is selected, its uh, variables are filled automatically. So every time you change, come here and change this to event procedure. And then click on the three dots on the side. This is going to open the, the Microsoft Visual Basic for applications. This is where we're going to write our code. Now, the code is not that complicated. What you need to do is to write me referring to this form. Me is just saying that this form, uh, on this form, dot means go inside this form, find something that we call. So the first one will be the load in turns. So just find load in turns. It is just right here. Select that one. Once you've selected, go inside and find the value, the value of load in turns, and then set it equal to just simple, very simple. Set it equal to whatever will be inside of me dot vehicle ID. Remember, we renamed that to vehicle ID. So go inside the vehicle ID and find from the column. So here, that is what I showed you earlier, the column. You're going to enter the column that contains that particular information. Just to recap, we can go back to the type of transport table so that you can be able to confirm. We say this is, this is column zero. This is column one, but because we did not add this to the combo box that we just created, so we are going to ignore this and start from the vehicle. So this is column zero and then column one. So we are looking for the load in turns. So this is the turns. So we want to select column one. So go back to your VBA code and just write there column one and then close the brackets and hit enter. So we are setting the load in turns value equal to whatever is had in the vehicle ID column 
one and we can go ahead and test this and see whether it actually works so go back to transportation data form change to design view create a new record and try to pick for example pick up we are going to see the load in turns is filled there automatically suppose we select a truck it is five load in turns and so on lorry two you can see that is what is happening so to do the same for the rest you can just copy and paste the code here control v and control v so we are going to change the number of loaders dot value and set it equal to column two i suppose column two and this will be column three so change that to transportation transportation cost dot value and once you hit control save on this one and come back select new and now try to select and you can see everything is filled automatically now i think i just confused you because you cannot have 600 number of loaders that is because this is not column two this is column three actually so i i'll just go back and interchange the values see what happens when you assume things so this is column two and set this to column three and we shall be good to go now go back and try to select a different now that is more like it now what you can be able to do with this is to for example if i enter the distance here as 500 you can check the distance and you multiply by the cost and then you can be able to save that data into your database you can imagine very many scenarios where you can apply this instead of having to do all the manual work by yourself you can just automate the process